a man for 30 mm-hmm. books in 30 weeks. Have you ever had um, a moment where you just like literally crack yourself up at the world that you really have created for yourself? Like, <laughs> some things, <laughs> I can't share the details with y'all, <laughs> but sometimes stuff just cracks you up. Anyway, welcome, what's going on, Bill? Y'all welcome in for 30 books in 30 weeks. <laughs> Hey Donna, um, thirty books in thirty weeks. Let me, let me, who's Let me get it together here. Okay, so welcome in. What's up, China? Um, thirty books in thirty weeks. Um, this week we're talking about people by you. I'm trying to get my my mental framework back right now. Um, I'm talking about people by you for thirty books in thirty weeks. As you guys come in, feel free to invite some people in to join us. Share the video out if you're catching it on the replay. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who might be joining in for the very first time, don't know me, don't know who I am, don't know what I'm about. Let me let you know. I'm sold out to my happiness. Mm-hmm. I live life on Mars, and I love more than anything to help women shine and truly discover and embrace what I call their star power. And so that's what I'm about. I am. A public speaker I'm an author and I am a reality based success and recovery trainer and as part of what I do um, I help individuals and in, in businesses to optimize their personal and professional investments and so one of the things that is huge for me is personal development and 30 books in 30 weeks is a way that I can share the experiences that I share with clients on a smaller scale Um, with uh, the the masses and hopefully you guys will walk away with some really great nuggets too hey Daniel Um, and that's that's awesome for me Um, I started out this year saying I was going to help 1,000 women transform their loves lives and relationships and even their businesses and we are well on our way to that we just wrapped up um, in the middle of March, the first session of Raising the Bar 60-Day Laser Coaching Program. The new session starts April 19th. I'm stoked about that. Oh my God, you guys, there's big stuff coming up. But anyway, 30 books in 30 weeks. People buy you. Let your friends be your friends. Let your family be your family. That's the message tonight. Why is that the message and what does that have to do with why people choose to get service from you? Why do people buy from you? And I say let your family be your family, let your friends be your friends, because sometimes, too many times, oftentimes, the first thing you're taught in sales training is, oh, go make your list, write down everybody you know, and go sell, sell, sell to the people that, that ain't what they signed up for. Let your friends be your friends. Let your family be your family. It's okay to let them know what you do, but don't expect them to all convert into paying clients. It doesn't work that way, and you're going to disappoint yourself, you're going to frustrate yourself, you're going to piss people off. That's the real. That's the real and the raw. Um, you all know I'm reality-based, so it doesn't. It doesn't I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. That's what happens. You alienate people and you piss them off and then they don't want to buy from you because now you've become this annoying person and you're that guy or that girl who that's all they talk about. And every time they want to have a conversation with you, all of a sudden you're trying to sell them something or they're afraid to call you because they're afraid you're going to try and sell them something. Stop trying to sell your friends and family and convert them into clients. Like I said, it's fine. Let them know what you do. Everybody knows what I do. I'm a public speaker. I'm an author. I'm a reality-based success and recovery trainer. The best, as a matter of fact, the best. But I don't need to tell that to all my friends and all my family. Although a lot of them need my services. But I'm not going to shove healing and recovery down someone's throat just because I observe that they need it. Now, if they come to me and ask for advice, absolutely, I got you, boo-boo. I got you. Inbox is open, call me, whatever. If I think that I can add a value for you by you going through one of my programs I'll tell you about the program but only because you've come to me seeking out information services advice etc and so I always let my friends be my friends and I let my family be my family and um, it keeps relationships in the right perspective stop stop investing a whole lot of time trying to convert people who don't want to be converted the fact of the matter is we were talking the other day about people Um, buy from people they know like and trust honestly people just don't buy from people that they don't like the other parts of it yeah you want to let them know you like we were talking about 
But that like and trust part is secondary. We were talking about that. So you got to let your friends be your friends, let your family be your family, and go out and seek the clients and provide the service. Because what I know to be true, what I can prove to you, beyond a shadow of doubt, is when you're out there changing people's lives and doing what you're supposed to do and you're selling your product and you're making a difference in the world, number one, a couple things will happen. Number one, you're not going to be all worried about what your friends and family are doing or what they're saying about you. More importantly, number two, when they see what you're doing and they see how you're getting the results, you they see you building your business, they see you commanding respect, they see you well positioned, they'll come to you. You don't have to convert them. People don't want to be sold to. People want to make choices. People want to buy stuff. They want to buy products. They don't want to be sold products. They don't want to be sold stuff. So stay in your lane. Go get your clients. Let your friends be your friends. Okay, I've probably said that at least 15 times. Why do I keep repeating myself? I'm repeating myself because people don't listen. They don't listen. And so then they're still out there trying to be Sales people to people who don't want to be sold to. I'm going to give you an example and then I'm going to go. Friend requests. Let's talk about etiquette, about letting friends be friends. Because I think this is right, right, really kind of rubs me. Um, because that's my, that's my sales philosophy is to let your friends be your friends. Here's the issue. Um, etiquette on Facebook and social media. Please don't send me a friend request. And then immediately add me to your group, try to sell me a product, inbox me how you're going to be able to. I didn't ask you all of that. You sent me a friend request. Let me be your friend first. I'll go look. I've already checked you out before I even said, click yes, we can be friends. I already did that. And if I have a question about a product that you offer, I'm going to ask you. But in the meantime, and in between time, let me be your friend. Let me get to know you. Stop trying to jump in the bed with somebody that you just met in the club. That's what that feels like. Like you trying to take me home and you didn't even buy me a glass of ice water. Stop it. Don't do that. And don't become that person. Don't become that saleswoman. Don't become that sales guy. Don't become that coach that's always trying to shove things down someone's throat. Let people come to you if you are out there doing what you say you do if you're out there serving the community that you say you serve uh, I used to sell um, in an MLM and that was the first thing I said go make your friends list go make go make a list of your friends go make a list of everybody you know from high school go everybody from college you man I ain't talked to some of them people in 15 years and you want me to go try and sell them a protein shake no, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Now, that could be why I'm not very good at selling MLM, but that's it's not my lane. Like I told y'all, I stay in my lane. I mind my business. I let you mind your business, and I let God mind his business, and everything else works out by itself. Y'all well, know I cannot see. I have got to get me some new glasses. That's just a totally a sidebar, but anyway. So that's the message tonight. If you're in sales, and everybody's in sales, even if you don't know that you're in sales, you are in sales. Let your friends be your friends. Let your family be your family. And go find you some clients. Okay? All right. All right. And if you send me a friend request, if we're not already friends, if you send me a friend request, do not turn around right after you send the friend request and add me to a group because I will delete you and I will leave your group. FYI. So for the five or eight or ten people in the last three days who have done that to me, you are deleted. We are not friends, and we probably won't ever be now. So, thanks for that. I appreciate y'all keeping it real, keeping it on 100. That's just me, living life on Mars. My world, my life, my rules. Not here to win a popularity contest. We talk about that all the time. So, y'all have a great night. I appreciate you more than you ever possibly know. Thank you for joining in. Remember to share it out. If you have questions about the new coaching program, when it starts, hit my website, marcybatiste.com. If you missed on videos, hit my YouTube channel. Everything's on there. All right. Thanks, as always, guys, for living life on Mars. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Later.